Hey everyone, Stephanie here. Welcome back to the fourth episode of my adventures with the single player campaign in Midgard. So last episode, we followed Ingrid, the leader of the motorbike gang called the Valkyries, as she went to negotiate with their clients, the vampires, to whom they had been selling God's blood. So Ingrid is confronting them because one of her gang members mysteriously died and she wants to find out why that gang member died. The Oracle at Delphi, font of wisdom and seat of Apollo. In one world, a broken ruin. In another, a thriving temple. They really let this place go. Oh, it's back, it's back to Percy's storyline. You underestimate their reach. Places like this must be hidden away. If not, they'll end up polluted or destroyed. Alright then. Time to ask for directions. I see it's a long road. There's a dead girl and she's walking around in a city that isn't there. That's that's it. Yeah, so this is the parallel storyline that is going on. Uh, Percy is a godling, and I suspect that the two storylines will cross eventually because she has God's blood in her. But yeah, we're gonna find out what's happening here at the Oracle. So Percy and her will bring Ven. <clears throat> Unworthy this eyes may not gaze so upon the Oracle. <laughs> And we're teaming up for now. My cards are red and his cards are blue. If I burn a few cards of each color, I should be able to use any card I draw. Oh, cool. So you can actually mix and match factions in here. So far, we've only encountered like pure red and pure blue uh, decks, but now we're gonna play a mixed deck. Um, okay, we have two fawns of decay, so I'm gonna burn one of these and just start with a Minotaur. Hold on, let me just check. What is this lane? Ruins of Delphi or Delphi. While occupied, friendly players draw an extra card each turn. Percy realized that the ruin still held power and functioned like a doorway to the oracular temple in all its pre-Ragnarok glory. Ragnarok is the death, death of the gods. Okay, so Gamelion burned Pit Fiend and didn't play anything. Um, well, we can play a lean enchantment, I suppose. Oh, not enough gems. Right, we need a blue gem. Um, Sure, so we'll burn one of these. Now we have two mana and one blue gem and one red gem. Uh, and we'll just attack here. Sugar Plum Fairy. It has Lurker, Agile, and Life Tap. Wow, that sounds pretty strong. So we can just trade here. Um, yeah, that seems too slow. Ruin of Denial. So this requires... Can I play this? Cannot move voluntarily. Minions in the opposing three lanes are immobile. Uh, that seems really strong against a player, but I'm playing against an AI, so I don't think it makes a difference. So, Daughters of the Forest.
alpha strike so it attacks before other minions that don't have alpha strike can i play this yeah i can so you trespass <laughs> you trespass so it's basically um i needed three mana and this is a blue card so that's interesting Even though I didn't have three blue gems, I could play that. So it just required like three... The stars align. Uh, three mana and a uh, blue gem. And <laughs> the stars align. Orania Muse. It has energy. Divination 2. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Pick one to put on top. It doesn't have any- like it just dies though, it doesn't have any attack. Okay, I am going to play something really big, I think. Piercing ignores uh, armor, cool. And then there's also my Chloe Sunshine. I'm gonna burn Amnesia. I don't like this card, it's too slow. And I'll put my Chloe Sunshine here. Mm, so it has a really high stats now. It starts with 4 attack and uh, 5 health, but then because of the lane enchantment, it gets plus 1 and plus 1. The stars align. <laughs> Fawn of Decay. Destroy an enchantment in the opposite lane. Oh, I should have actually moved this away and played that instead. That's really interesting. Um, let's play a Winter Wolf. And we can burn one of these. And they have green gems. This is the first Do time you dream. <laughs> Do you dream? The first time that we are getting introduced to the green faction. Night Hag. Maybe in the opposite lane it's stunned until Night Hag moves or leaves play. Well, we still win anyways. Wait. Suppressed. Oh, that's right. They used Amnesia. Um... Give a minion suppress and lock its strength to zero until your next turn. We can still win though, because the forlorn spirit opens with a damage. So we'll do that. <laughs> Come play. <laughs> Come play, and yeah. I feel like red is my favorite faction so far. It's just fast. But I can see how green could be really strong in PvP, like with all those tricks of looking at cards and stuff. Wow. I know you're not a normal puppy, but you don't even have a scratch. <laughs> I've been feeling stronger. I'm remembering more. Oh. You're not really reassuring me here. Anyways. I got enough from the Oracle. Maybe. The next stop is some sort of invisible city and a dead girl. I know it's to the east, but I'm not sure how we get in. And me talking to the dead, well, let's just say it's complicated. If we can get close enough, I can follow a scent into the city. I wonder if she's going to talk to the dead girl from the motorbike gang. The throne of Imperial Parsa. A new mission is given. Heed us, Ariel. An ancient power takes its first steps back into our world. Hmm. We must find her. We must bring her to us. My Empress speaks, and my duties are born. We impress upon you the urgency of this task. This is a person. 
prize that cannot be missed. Glory to Parsa. Glory eternal. <clears throat> Another kingdom. Given righteous purpose, the angel splits the skies for its passage. Delphi, the angel arrives. Do things drop from the sky a lot around here? <laughs> because this is happening more often than- Don't trust him! He stinks of Parsa! Greetings, lady. I am Ariel. The Empress of Parsa requests that you attend upon her court. Not sure what Parsa is, but I know what Empress means. I'll pass. <laughs> Parsa's requests cannot easily be set aside. Listen, Sparkles, I've spent enough time as guest of royalty. Pretty much done with that. Please, my lady, I implore you. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Percy's boyfriend was uh, the king of the dead. In the original myth, it would be Hades. And she's tired of being trapped by royalty. So let's see how this confrontation pans out. We'll probably get introduced more to the green faction. <laughs> Fenris is growling. Powers are active abilities that cost a small amount of mana and can be used once per turn. Power. Smite once per turn, deal 2 damage to your opponent if they have more life than you, or one otherwise. Uh, I don't really like Amnesia even though I've seen how it works. So I'm gonna burn it and play a Minotaur. I wonder what the kingdom of Parsa wants from Percy. If the vampires just want her blood, Recording. what do they want? Oh, this is not even a green fashion. This is some other gem. Did you see that? It's like an orange gem. I wonder how many factions there are in this game. So awaken, add a Parsa recruit to your hand. And ephemeral, remove from the game when leaving play, going to a boneyard or returning to a deck. Interesting. Uh, we should probably just trade here, right? Or can I buff my minotaur? Or actually, I can just get rid of it with ignition. So why don't we do that instead. Then we can just get some head start on the hitting. Um, and we're good on cards I think because of the lane enchantment so we can burn this and just sit, start saving up ge gems to do stuff with. So this requires two gems and three mana. Here. This requires one gem and three mana. Starting to get the hang of this mana and gems thing. They played a uh, Xerxian recruiter. I can use it. I have enough power to smite my enemies. Oh, I, do I want to do that or do something else? Look at the top card of your deck. If it's a minion, draw it, and it's now a rebel permanently. Huh, interesting. Okay, we don't have anything big to heal, so let's get rid of this. Uh, and we can play... Whoa, this sounds really strong. Deal 2 damage to your opponent and all enemy minions. I'm gonna try this ensnaring thing. And we'll just... We'll stay here because we can't... Um... Actually, we'll move so that we don't die to that. So it's gonna be forced to attack this, probably, yeah. And... Uh, 
they burned twin fire zealot and then played a mission miraculous feast fully heal all your minions and gain four life interesting okay what is this parsa recruit that doesn't seem like a good trade i think it's time to use our thunderclap is it? Yeah, let's do that. Move this back to the center and do this. Play Thunderclap. And played an enchantment. Soma Oasis. Minions created are immortal until your next turn. Well. So we can't we can't attack there. We probably have to move then. Um We can play this, and then burn one of these, and just smite, I think, yeah. Oh, we can't move and attack, I keep forgetting, <laughs> but yeah, we're getting a head start on the damage. Is this still immortal? Nope. Okay, we get to draw a card off of our memes. Reporting. <laughs> Reporting. Oh, it. Do we have a mission? It can't move because of my ensnaring serpent. Cool. Locked in. <laughs> we have a mission. Locked Do we in. Have a mission. Immortal and frenzy because of the soma oasis. Um. Sons of the pack. Do I have the? Are these canine minions? There's a serpent. Uh, look at the top three cards of your deck. Pick one to put on top. Okay, we can get rid of that. This is a pretty straightforward trade, I think. Uh, and we can buff our minions. Probably just kill that and play. Play this means. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> so I get to choose a card to put on top of my deck. Let's try the Winter Wolf. Okay. So next turn we are guaranteed to draw a winter wolf. Interesting. Oh, that thing can attack twice, I forgot. Huh, maybe amnesia could be useful after all. Okay, what is this? Berserker. This can also attack twice, and it's undead. Interesting. This is no longer immortal, so we can actually heal this and draw a card. Uh, we can block that, and then we have three mana to work with. We can burn something and play another. Okay, I'm gonna summon this here so that it gets bonus stats. Did I already burn something? No, not yet. So let's play a uh, Minotaur as well. <laughs> Curious about this orange faction. Parsa Divinity Cannon.
How much damage do I have? Nine. Well, we can win next. So, we can just play the two. Um, <laughs> So the wolves get bonus stats. Yeah, this can just... Wait, does this not have frenzy? Can attack twice. Why did it only attack once? Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but we can kill this at least. Just do. Deal two damage to minions in the opposing three lanes. Oh, that's why it's a cannon. <laughs> okay, interesting. Wait, is this now immortal? Oh yeah, it is. Dang, that's really annoying. But we can just kill with our power. Yeah, so there we go. <laughs> Alright, he's heading up down, boy. Percy and Ben are getting along well. And we got the Duskwing Angel card. This was not my intent. Your animal struck first. <laughs> but what was your intent? I had hoped to persuade you. Hmm. As for you, I get the feeling this search is going to be hard enough without me biting everyone. <laughs> okay, so the story deepens even more. On Percy's side of the story, she went to consult the Oracle because she's... Uh, searching for her mother and the oracle gave her a vision of a dead girl in an invisible city so percy is going to try and find that dead girl and talk to her and in the meantime a third storyline has entered the picture the kingdom of parsa wants percy for some reason they foresaw that an ancient power has awakened which is percy she came out from the underworld and they sent Ariel to talk to her and they got into a fight because you know <laughs> the little wolfling just likes to bite strangers so Percy and the wolfling are getting along well she has given him a name Fen and we are starting to learn to play with a mixed faction deck with red and blue cards we also got introduced to a green faction at the Oracle and we got introduced to the orange faction when facing Ariel. So I'm looking forward to learning more about the game. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next video.